All right, here we go. Eddie G from GF7 Fit today. Chris is working on the trap bar deadlift here to get strength in the lower body and also strength in the gripping muscles. So we want to go through the, through the steps here. We're going to try to go slow and try to be real clear. So first and foremost, she's going to step into um, the trap bar here. And first things first, I want you to focus here on her feet. Make sure before you start to lift, whether it be a deadlift or a squat, make sure your feet are even, all right? So we're looking for the feet to be even. Next thing we're looking for is for the toes to be slightly turned out. That's gonna help activate the glutes because you're lifting a lot with your glutes and your hamstrings, all right? Next thing is we're gonna, we're, not, we're gonna try to grab one side here, but we're taking the slack out of the back. So go ahead and grab one side, taking the slack out of your back there. Now the other side. And now what she wants to do is bring the hips down slightly, put force with her feet into the ground, all right? Lift up her chin, straighten out her back, and then, and then pulling. So you're thinking about pushing into the ground first, and then you're pulling. So we're gonna repeat again. We're trying to go slow here. We're gonna grab one side, all right? Grab the other side, hips down. You see force into the ground, pushing, getting the chin up, and then pulling. So first is to push into the ground, and then that helps you pull. You don't want to just pull and come off, yeah? Let's go again. Yeah. All right. Taking the slack out of the back, the slack out of the back. Hips coming down. There you go. All right. All right. We're just going step by step. We're going slowly so you can capture this. And where you go do it at the home gym or at your public gym. All right. And you want to make sure, like when she's pushing into the ground, the hip, you want that force somewhere about mid-foot. You should feel that force going into the ground when you're doing the deadlift. Okay. There you go. You can see the feet are being pushed into the ground. Good. One more rep then, take a break. Good, there's a good set. And then so now we're gonna film three sets, that's the first set. Next set we're gonna film is gonna be a side angle. She's gonna take a break and then we'll get the side angle. All right, so now, so now we hit, we're at the front angle, now we're getting the side angle so, so Chris can see how her back looks when she's lifting and you can see it at home as well. So she's gonna get in, we're gonna do all the steps the same way. We're getting in, make sure that our feet are even, nothing's changing. We're grabbing one side, taking slack out of the back, all right, right here. Taking slack out of the other side. The hips are coming down. That's ground reaction force into the ground, lifting up the chin. And when you lift that chin up, it brings that chest up and that brings the back straight now. All right, that's what we want. So again, we're grabbing one side, grabbing the other, taking the slack out, bringing the hips down slightly. Chin up, chest up, so the back is straight now. All right, we wanna really feel those shoulders go back before we lift up. Feel those hips going down to the ground and those shoulders kind of going back and we're lifting. And your back angle, you want this back angle when you're lifting. That's the back angle you want. Not like here, but it's slightly tilted up. Right, just slightly tilted up. Good. That was a good one. Yep. And feet are still even. Yep. Because what has a tendency when people sometimes when they start working out, their feet will start shifting on them. They'll start losing focus. But good, her, her feet have not moved, which is good. All right? Yeah. Grabbing, grabbing, taking the slack out. You want the back to be activated. That's a good one. Tips are going down into the ground. You can see her feet pushing into the ground, pushing that ground away from her. Pushing first and then pulling. That activates the glutes, activates the hamstrings. Your back, everything is going well. All right, let's keep going. A couple more. Yeah, a couple more. There we go. Back's in a good position. All right. All right, good. That's a good set. And the advantage, now she can go back also watch yourself. It's a great advantage if you can film yourself because you can watch yourself. You might think you look a certain way when you're lifting because you might see somebody at the gym and you're like, oh, I want to copy that person at the gym. They might be lifting 10 years. And in your mind, you think you look like that person. But until you see yourself on camera, you'll find out you don't look like that person. 
because that person's been doing it 10 years. You can't try to realize somebody's been doing it 10 years and you're doing it one month or two. So film yourself, watch yourself, and then don't mind the progression. Don't mind like your before and after. That's gonna be a big testimonial for you. All right, we got that angle, then we're gonna get another angle. And we're gonna talk about some of the benefits of strength training that Chris has uh, already experienced just with a couple, maybe about a month of your training here inside the GSM Fit Gym, all right? All right, so here we go. We're going for the third set here. We'll give you a different angle so she can go back and, and look at it and correct anything that she might see that may be a little off. But so far, so good, all right? So here we're gonna go. Now I'm gonna do a regular speed. All right, so same thing. She's gonna take the slack out of the back. All right, push it to the ground to get ground reaction forces. Lifting up the chin, that strings out the back, and driving into the ground and then pull it. So I always recommend when you're first starting out to always restart at each rep. Um, that way all the steps are taken care of. So you get it down, and, you get, and then you can do all the steps kind of simultaneously. But for now, you want to make sure you're doing them right. All right? There we go. Get into the ground. That's a pretty good deadlift. And of course, this is a trap bar deadlift. You know, the regular deadlift would be a little bit harder. We're not concerned with that. We're concerned with getting a little bit stronger. And this still can get you stronger. You get the back stronger, the glutes stronger. Hamstring stronger. Good. Good. Gets your gripping muscle stronger as well. There you go. Good. Grabbing the bar. Yeah, taking the slack out of the back. There you go. All right. One more good one here. That was a good back angle. That last one was a good one. Talk about the benefits of doing some strength training. And she can come first for a little bit. And just talk about, even she's been training here by about a month, how, because uh, she's a caregiver right now. And so, how weightlifting transfers over to, you know, activities of daily living where you gotta get somebody maybe off the sofa into a chair and positioning them. If you wanna talk a little bit how that, how that's helped you a little bit. Crystal, so people watching can know that, uh, that, you know, maybe they might be in a certain, a similar situation, and they need strength training as well. And these are the exercises that can get them there. So it's made a lot of difference in my in our life. Getting him up, and I'm not in such a hurry. Everything's you know very calm, and, and you know, and it works good, works well for both of us. And Eddie's giving some really good tips too. And keep your head up. Thank you. And then comes, and so because some, some people might say the trap bar deadlift is a waste of time, but it's definitely not a waste of time, right? Because you're getting, no. you're getting your gripping stronger, you're getting your, your legs stronger, your back stronger, and it's an easier posi position to get into than the regular deadlift because that one, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna grind up against the shin and the, and the thighs, and not everybody wants that. So you know, it's not a one size fits all exercise program. So this is gonna be a short video, just so maybe anybody who's watching maybe a caregiver, a uh, full-time caregiver. Another reason why we lift weights, we wouldn't want to get injured because if you get injured, then both are injured and then that's gonna be really expensive, you know? So we're, we're all on the budget. So thank you uh, so much for watching up to now and thank you, Chris, for coming on the video to share your experience. If you like what you're watching, uh, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, hit the bell so you can hit all notifications so you don't miss it. And uh, thank you for watching and have a good weekend.